Hi everyone, today we will see basic electrical and electronics engineering part B. El basic electronics engineering. The chapter 1 is semiconducting devices, diodes, general diode, MOSFETs, ZBZDs, so those are the unit 1. Coming to unit 2, basic electronic circuits and instrumentation. This is the syllabus regarding B3 part B syllabus unit 2. There are 6 chapters, 6 units are there in B3 among those in part B 3 units and part A 3 units. In part A electrical part, part B is electronics part. Whereas unit 2 in part B is basic electronic circuits and instrumentation. Basic electronic circuit, how the basic circuit of electronic circuit like block diagram of DC power supply. Basic circuits are started from rectifiers rectifiers and voltage regulators these are the basic circuits which are started for electronic circuits the, the syllabus if you see basic electronic circuits and instrumentation syllabus rectifiers and power supplies basically we will see in this unit what is the power supply what is the need of power supply for any circuit DC and AC supplies are required DC power supply, how you are getting the block diagram description. Block diagram of DC power supply system. It consists of step down transformer and rectifier which converts AC to DC. After that, filter, filter converts, filter ripples will be reduced and smooth output DC voltage will be obtained by the use of capacitor filter and by using voltage regulator after getting DC voltage DC voltage has to be maintained constant that is Gener voltage regulator or 7835 regulate voltage regulator circuits we are using this is a simple B3 electronics part you need to basic electronic circuits and instrumentation we will see in this rectifiers and power supplies every DC power supply system DC power supply system in the sense RPS if you go it consists of rectifiers and filter and voltage regulator all this comes under again syllabus will be elaborated like this working of a half wave and full wave bridge rectifiers capacitor filter and working of simple general voltage regulator after that amplifiers we will see RC coupled common emitter amplifier and frequency response, its frequency response and basic block diagram of the instrumentation system. Instrumentation system, basic block diagram only will come. The application of electronic devices to control is called instrumentation. Instrumentation is the branch of electronics and communication engineering where the instruments and their controls will be studied. Block diagram of basic only, what is the mainly consist of instrumentation system? That we will read in this unit 2 only. Let us see block diagram description of DC power supply. A DC power supply you are watching in laboratories. The DC power supply consists of step down transformer and rectifier, filter, voltage regulator. After that, voltage will be maintained constant. Regulated power supply we are using in laboratory. Those that is a DC power supply system. Instead of that, what are the parts? What are the block diagram representation you can see here. The DC power supply required for 95% of the electronic equipments are powered from low voltage DC supply. High voltage DC supply is not required for electronic equipment, the expensive equipments like laptops, mobiles, etc. The source will be either battery or power from converting AC to DC into low voltage DC supplies. Electronic components requires a DC supply that well regulated, has low noise, has a low no ripples and fast response to load changes those are required if you see laptop charger laptop charger converting ac into dc regulated power supply after that you can connect to laptop if you go for mobile also it will convert directly from the source directly from the ac source single page ac volt 230 volts to 5 volts dc supply if you go for pcs 
and DC regulated power supply internally what is the circuit inside you can see now this is the components of DC power supply what are the components present in DC power supply RPS regulated power supply a step down transformer a transformer 220 volts RMS will be converted into 12 volts or 20 volts and rectifier filter circuit and regulator circuit 7835 regulator or general regulators we are using and load finally connected the AC voltage typically 220 volts RMS is connected to a transformer which steps down the voltage level to the desired DC output according to the desired DC output it will be converted after that the rectifier converts AC into DC with pulsating DC voltage you can see in top side of the diagram pulsating DC after that a filter a filter may be used as L and C that is inductor and capacitor may be acts as filter that may be unwanted ripples and harmonics can be reduced by using filter the filter can be converted to pulsating DC into pure DC after that voltage regulator voltage regulator voltage regulator converts the fixed DC output according to the variation of load you can see the voltage regulator general voltage regulator we are using 7835 ICs regulators we are using the AC voltage typically 220 volts RMS is connected to transformer which step downs the voltage level to desired output Di diode rectifier most of the diode rectifiers sir bridge rectifiers we are using in circuits or PCBs the full wave bridge rectifier we are using and uh, a filter capacitor by using filter capacitor L and C filter LC filter and parallel combination of L and C both we can use to produce the DC voltage the diode rectifier most of the circuits we are using bridge rectifier you can remember most of the circuits if you go for any type of circuit uh, bridge rectifiers they are using because uh, they can change the AC signal to DC signal with pulsating less ripples a diode rectifier full wave rectified voltage is initially filtered by a basic capacitor filter to produce a DC voltage regulator circuit can use this DC input to provide DC voltage that remains constant if the input or output whatever it changes the Gina regulator or voltage regulator circuit provides constant voltage for load you can see ideal power supply it provides constant DC voltage despite of the input voltage or load conditions ideal power supply in the sense there is no it is not practically possible but the power supply you can see the output voltage of real power practically small deflection no load minus full load that gives the voltage regulation real power supply can when the voltage drop more the voltage will be reduces under no load from to full load under no load it will be maximum voltage will be obtained and full load the slight changes that gives the voltage regulation you can see concept of voltage regulation voltage regulation is change in terminal voltage from no load to full load no load to full load divided by full load that is line regulation percentage it can be provided the voltage regulator input volt whatever be the input voltage we have to, no significant change in the output voltage the concept of voltage regulator concept of voltage regulation also no load minus full load divided by full load into 100 gives percentage voltage regulation the difference between change in terminal voltage from no load to full load and expressed in terms of full load then it is a percentage voltage regulation you can see load regulation it is V no load minus VFL by divided by VFL gives load regulation it is the percentage change in output voltage for a given change in load current it is the block diagram what we seen in the previously that represented in the form of circuits a 230 volts 50H we are connecting to plug that is input supply after that a step down transformer we are connecting step down transformer step down the voltage level to desired level and we can see, see bridge rectifier we are connecting the bridge rectifier is connected output will be connected to 
capacitor filter and the resistance also will be RC, LC filters, so many types of filters we can use. 24 volts we are converting pure DC after that IN4744A that is Jinner regulator we are convert, connecting this 24 volts after that we are producing constant voltage at no load. At full load you can see at full load at full load 220 volts 50 hv is same we are giving at full load a small drop will be takes place in digital multimeter or digital voltmeter if you see if you connect or the output a small practical regulator will be changes the voltage actually constant voltage will not be maintained there is maybe approximately one or two percent changes in the output voltage. In industrial power electronics, uh, most of the PCBs, motherboards, all will they will check first uh, power supply unit. If the power supply unit fails, everything will not work. If the PCB is not working, they will check first power supply, the regulator, voltage regulator, and rectifier circuit, filter circuit, etc.